Hello there folks. This quick video today is going to show you how to use the security manager to limit access to different display pages on your Redline HMI. If you look here in the current uh, build I've got going here, I've got a main page that I'm on right now, I've got a red page, and I also have a blue page. What I'd like to do in this example is have a couple buttons here that uh, if I push the red button it takes me to the red page, and if I push the blue button it takes me to the blue page. But I want to make sure that the user is authorized to see that page. So let's go first of all set up a couple buttons here by going over to the, let me show here, over on the right side go to primitives on the right side, go into core primitives, and we're going to slide down a little bit here to the bevel button. I'll click on it once, and maybe I'll grab the red button, and I'll drag it out here like this. I'll make it a little bigger so it's easier for us to see, and I'll right click on this thing and I'll go to properties. And I'm going to go ahead and say red page. So that's what the text is going to say. Now if you look, it's kind of hard to see because it's got red background with black lettering. So I'm going to change the text to be a little bit different so it shows up a little bigger, brighter color, and then I'll pick a little bigger font as well. Okay. Uh, I always teach in class on the More tab. I always like to show off how to use the Move on Press gives a little more visualization for the operator to make it go down to the right. And then on the action tab, I'm merely just going to assign this thing the action to go to page. Down here where it says target page, hit the pull down and choose red page. I've said in other classes, we've got these options of previous and next. Don't use those. I don't think they work. Uh, they don't work correct for me, so I never use those. I always explicitly say where I want it to go. So that'll take it to the red page. Then I'll click OK. Now I'm going to grab one of these blue buttons, because I want the blue button, I'll drag it out here, because I want it to navigate to the blue page. So I'm going to cheat a little bit by using some of our quick, quick tools. I'll right click here and I'll say same size as, and then I'll click on the red one, that'll make it the same size, and I'll move it over just to line it up. And then I also want the font to be the same, so I'll right click here, and I'll go copy from, and I'll select copy text format and that'll click there and now I need to go in here and change the wording so I'll right click go to properties and on the text tab I'll type blue page and in this case I guess I should have did it differently you see here I've got the blue background with the black lettering in this case it's hard to read so I'll make that be white and then if I go to the action tab under action here choose go to page hit the pull down here and select the blue page and that's it. So now if I connect these two buttons or click on them, it should navigate me to these other two pages. However, the purpose of this exercise though is to limit who can see what. So I want to create a couple users that can only see the well, a user that can only see the red page and a user that can only see the blue page. So if I go down here to the left hand side and click on security here, I can get into the security manager. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new user here. I got a user one here, and I'm going to name this guy. I'm going to go here and I'm going to type. I'm going to call this guy red. I'm going to just type red there, and then over here for the real user, I'm going to type red underscore user, not underscore, just red user. That'll be the name, and I'm going to put a password here for the red to have one two three. Very easy doing this for testing. If you look down here, you can assign the rights to this user. I'm going to assign this guy can have user rights one. Um, that's going to allow me to navigate uh, under anything that has user rights one, I should be able to navigate to there. Now I'm going to go ahead and create another user, and I'm going to call this one blue. So if I click here once or right click and rename it, I'm going to call it blue here. This guy is going to be blue user. And then down here for password, I'm going to put ABC, just slightly different, the letters lowercase ABC. This guy is going to have access rights to number two. So I'll check user rights number two there. Now, if I go back to my display pages, and if I click on my red page here, the only guy who should see this page is the red user. So if I come out here to the page anywhere, and if I right click, I can go to properties. And on the properties for this page, if I go here to security, and on the security down here where it says access control default for object, hit the pull down here and I'm going to say 
only users, whoops, hit the pull down here and choose users with specific rights. And I only want users who have access rights one, which is what I set the red up for, is access one. So then I'll hit the OK button in the lower left hand corner here. That takes care of that guy. And then I'll click OK again. Now let's go to do the same on the blue page. If I click on the blue page, come out here and right click on this guy and go to properties. Go to the security tab for this one. Down here where it says access control default for object, hit the edit button. Hit the poll down here and choose users with specific rights and choose number two and click OK. All right, let's go ahead and uh, well, we'll test that here in a second. That should take care of that, but whenever I get to this page, I'd also like a way to navigate back to the main page and log off the user. So if I choose one of these other buttons, just drag out a button here on this page, and I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bigger here. I'm going to right click on this guy and go to properties. And on the text tab here, on the text tab here, I'm going to type uh, here, I'll type log off. And uh, I'll just leave it as log off. I'm going to leave it log off, and that'll actually take us back. It will eventually take us back to the other page here in a second. So I want to make font a little bigger as well. So I'm going to hit pick. I'll just choose the other font we've been doing here. I'll once again, I'll go to the More tab, Direction, Down and Right. But this button, when I touch this, I want it to log off the current user, and I want it also to go back to the main page. So here where it says Operation, No Action, Hit the pole down there and choose user defined. And then in the user defined, you see the section here where it says released? I'm going to hit the general button right here because I got a couple things I want this to do. So I'll hit the general button and I'll pull down. I'm going to select the complex here. And one thing I want to do is I want it to log off the current user and then I want it to go back to the main page. So if you go over here to the right side of Crimson and come down to the system on the right side, and I kind of got this other window in the way, but if you expand the security tree, you're going to see there's a function here called user log off here. So if I drag this out here like this, step out of there, semicolon end, that will log off that user. And then if I type go to page, open parentheses, main, the name of the main page, end parentheses, semicolon, that will do the next step. And up here where it says complex code, I will maybe type log off user and return to main there and hit enter that way it shows the text like this we'll click OK and since so we got that button here I'm going to right click and copy and I'll click on the red page over here and I'll just paste it on that same page right there alright let's go ahead and download this to our little HMI and see how it works alright I'll go ahead and open up the web browser here. And here's our web browser. We're looking at it. If I click on the red page here, you'll see it comes up must authenticate to access page. Hit the enter. And let's say this guy wants to go to the red page. So I'll type red here. Enter. And the password for that guy was 123. Enter. It takes me to the red page. Now if I hit the log off, That'll check that guy off and takes me back to the blue page or back to the main page. If you hit the red page again and say I put in the wrong code here, let's say I put in uh, hello for instance, oops, well red H, I just add that. On it. By the way, you can make a way to clear this, but I'll click enter and if I put in a wrong password, I'll just make something up. You'll see that it beeped and you may have heard the actual screen do it, it beeps. Let's try the blue page. If I click on the blue page, check here. Click the blue, put the name in as blue, hit the enter button, and then I can check A, B, C, and it should navigate me to that page, and it sure did, and if I hit log off, I return back to the main. A couple more things I want to show you with using the security manager. Uh, down here in the security manager, if you click up here on the main security when we first came in, uh, a couple things that you guys can do is um, you can uh, do inactivity timeout. You can change this to a longer or shorter time, which will automatically log the user out. Uh, the clear login name, what that'll do is that'll get rid of the last guy who logged in as well. And then if you want to do other things, uh, you can also log who actually logged in and other things with changes. So 
that is just a quick example of how to use the security manager to let you control who can see certain pages and so forth. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, please give us a call, but thank you again for using Redline HMI products. Have a great day.